Then Qin Luan said to Qin Nan, Your father messed with Lin family, now Qin family has collapsed, you got in. Trouble with Blue Cloud sect. You and your father trying to put the Qin family in danger again. Even, though you are part of Qin family, you have brought us so much shame. Then Qin Nan replied to him that, My father was the head of the Qin family for 30 years. He made this family stronger, you were not there. When he needed help, now that he is in trouble, you all step back and blame him, how dare you call yourself a member of the Qin family? How dare you insult my father and me? Then Qin Nan came in anger and said to Qin Luan, since your first name is Qin, I would not kill you today. I will cut one of your arm off to warn the other. Then he came out his sword from the cover and cut down his one arm. Qin Luan said to Qin Nan, your cultivation is recover. You cut off my arm. My father will kill you. Qin Nan replied to him, that no one can kill me. Then Qin Nan entered into the mansion. He saw that Qin Khan elder was sitting on the seat. He began thinking that Qin Khan is sitting on the seat of the head family, he clearly want to take control Qin family. Then Qin Khan asked to Qin Nan how dare you come back. You and your father insisted on giving the sword of fire to Blue Cloud sect and you ignored my objection. Now Blue Cloud is not showing any appreciation and constantly distresses us. Qin Khan was thinking that Qin Nan has not carried the sword he must have failed. Then he asked to Qin Nan, I heard you went to Blue Cloud Sect to reclaim the sword, it seems that you have failed. You and your father are foolish, you both put the Qin family in danger, what punishment do you think you deserve? Then suddenly a guard arrived there and said to Qin Khan, Elder there has been an accident. He kneeled down in the front of the Qin Khan and said to him Master Qin Luan, he lost an arm. Doctor said that it is cannot be healed. Qin Khan came in anger and asked to Qin Nan, what? How dare you crippled my son arm? According to my family rules, hurting a family member you will be locked up in dungeon. Then he ordered to the guards that all come take him. Qin Khan began thinking that was not Qin Nan cultivation is destroyed. How could he cut off my son arm? Did he get his cultivation back? I will lock him up in dungeon and torture him myself. Until he will tell me everything what happened and I will kill him after that. Then guards came near to Qin Nan to take away him but he used his power and threw away all the guards. Qin Khan was very surprised by watching that and began thinking that, what? He really restored his cultivation. So what? He was only in level 4 of body training. Also maybe he is not fully recovered. Then Qin Nan said to the Qin Khan that according to the Rules you need the approval of all the family member to change the head of family. And here you are, sitting at the seat of head family without permission, this is rebellion. According to family rules, you must have died. Then Qin Khan began laughing and said to Qin Nan, you can try me. Look at yourself, you think you are strong enough to kill me. Then Qin Nan said to the guards, Qin Khan may have received backup from the Lin family, otherwise he would not have the guts to take the seat of family head, it is good enough to kill him today. Anyone who tries to stop me, is his companion, you guys have two options. One put down your weapon and surrender, or you all deal with him. Then Qin Khan said to Qin Nan Yu, become fools who dream of killing me, the rightful head of family. He said to the guards, we cannot let him live, all of you kill him now. Then guards were ready to kill Qin Nan. Then Qin Nan said to them if that is your choice, then I will not show mercy. Then Qin Nan used his sword and killed all guards. Qin Khan was very surprised and began thinking that he is just a level 4 of body refining. Now could he kill the guard? With one move only, he must be lucky. Besides, I am in level 6 of body training, how can I be afraid of him? Then Qin Nan said to Qin Khan, old bastard it's your turn to die. Old bastard it's your turn to die. Then Qin Khan said to him, kid you are so arrogant, I am in level 6 of body training, I am much stronger than you. Today is the day you will die. Qin Nan said to old man, you are nonsense. Then Qin Nan moved forward to attack. Qin Khan said to him wait. Then there was fight between them and the sword of the old man broke easily. He was very surprised that how can my sword break so easily. Then Qin Nan said to him, my sword of fire is certainly much sharper than yours. Old man did you really think I had no idea that you have teamed up with Lin family? I have only let you live till today because I thought you would 
Stop in time, but you tried to take over the Qin family. Death will be the last punishment for you. Then, Qin Khan said to him, Kid you are lucky to get Sword of Fire back. However, do you believe you have no chance of killing me? Then old man used his another technique and said to Qin Nan, Take my heart realm. Strike. Then Qin Nan said, It is the technique of the Lin family. What a coincidence. I have just practiced it. For two hours, let me show you the real power of this heart palm strike. Then Qin Nan used the same heart palm strike an old man threw away. He said what? This is impossible, how can you kill me with that? Low cultivation. Then Qin Nan said, the rebellion of the Qin family is now all cleaned up. Then Qin Nan came toward his father and said to him that father elder, Qin Khan already died. I killed him our Qin family is safe right now. His father was very surprised by hearing that and said what? How can you kill him? Is your cultivation recovered? Then Qin Nan replied to him yes father. It was easy to kill the elder. My cultivation is not just recovered, I also broke through level 5 of body training. Then Qin Nan father said to him that son you have reached level 5 of body training at such a young age, you will bear the hope of our entire Qin family. I have known the rebellion intentions since a long time ago the elder deserved to die. But now I am crippled, therein not much of my cultivation left. I am an old loser. Since your cultivation has been restored and you have made great progress, I shall let you be the head of Qin family, our family. Needs a leader. Then Qin Nan said to his father, you have been the head of Qin family for 30 years, our family is being pushed aside by Lin family. You are the only one who can lead our Qin family out of this problem. Then Qin Nan father replied to him that everyone has to follow the rules of martial artist. The stronger lead the weakest. I have lost my cultivation. I am no longer qualified to be the head of the Qin family. Other people will look down on our Qin family later. You are stronger, and you just killed the betrayed of our family, which makes you the most powerful man of our Qin family. You have to become the head of the R family. Then Qin Nan began thinking that, I remember that in the Asura bloodline, given to me by ancestor Qin Zheng, there are countless books of martial art techniques and alchemist methods. And in the alchemist, there is a pill called Marrow Dan, which can treat internal injuries and restore cultivation. If I can make Marrow Dan, father will have a chance to restore his cultivation and stay as the head of the Qin family. Then he said to his father that, Father I, no a dan that can restore your cultivation. If you trust me, would you wait for three days? You can stay as the head of the Qin family. If I fail, I will become the head of Qin family. What do you think father? Then his father replied to him that, Okay, we will talk about this after three days. Qin Nan became very happy and said to his father, Thank you father, I will go now and find for the ingredients immediately. Qin Nan father was thinking that, My son is great. Man, he will defiantly become outstanding in the future. However the marrow dan that could cure my internal injuries would be high class dan. This kind of pill cannot be found on the market, even the Qin and Lin families do not own marrow dan at this level. It is impossible for Qin Nan to get this marrow dan. In three days, then Qin Nan moved out to find the things that were required for making the marrow dan pill. He was thinking that to make the triple dan, I have to find dragon root grass, summer flower and triple root. Dragon root and summer flower are commonly seen in stores. But triple root is hard to find. Then, he said thinking so much is useless. I should head out to market now. Then Qin Nan moved toward the market. He reached in the street city of sword. He was thinking that since I can get the dragon root grass on summer flower at any market. I should try to find the triple root first. Then he reached at a shop and old man the shopkeeper of that shop. He was busy in his work. Qin Nan said to him hello, can I have the triple root? Then old man replied to him that sorry young master, we do not have such a rare medicine in store. You can go and ask the owner at the top shop. The owner has his contact, maybe he can help you. Find the triple Dan. Qin Nan thanks him and moved forward. Then he reached at the top of the shop and looked at the shop and said, this market looks high class, I will go and have a look. He reached at the Shop the owner of the shop Chu Kai asked to Chin Nan, Young master what medicine are you looking for?